Hi guys, welcome to another lighting breakdown. My name's Michael Wright and I'm a fashion photographer based in London. In today's video, I'm going to run you through a simple one light beauty setup. I set up this test to create some clean and simple beauty photos as I'm looking to shoot a lot more beauty over the coming year. I talked about the Broncolor Parabolic in depth in my previous video, so I'm not going to go over it in too much depth here. In short, it's a silver lined reflective modifier, much like an umbrella, but it allows you to focus the light very precisely. You can achieve dramatically different looks just by focusing or defocusing a parabolic. Here's a behind the scenes shot of the day. You can see that I'm firing it through a big scrim. Now I'm doing this basically just to soften up the light a little bit more. An open parabolic gives you an extremely specular quality of light and I didn't necessarily want that on this shoot. I wanted to soften up the shadows under the nose and chin whilst reducing some of the hot spots and also the shine on the skin. I had the light angled 45 degrees down very straight onto Sasha. I then added a silver reflector underneath again at 45 degrees pointing up to create a clamshell style of light. I'm always looking for beautiful catch lights in beauty photography and this kind of setup gives you a very symmetrical catch light in the eye. I feel it's something you subconsciously expect to see. It also really focuses your attention to the eyes of the model. The eyes are our most emotive feature and dramatically shape the mood and emotion of an image. Of late, I've been pretty much religiously shooting on the 70 to 200 in order to get a range of crops throughout the day. I like to do this because it keeps the shoot flowing and moving Sometimes I feel it can get a bit stilted for the whole team if you're focusing on one crop for minutes on end. So when I'm not shooting super close macro stuff, I really like to work this way. I always tether into Capture One Pro. I like to look in detail at what we're capturing throughout the day. And it's also great to show the team exactly what we're creating. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing. And head over to my Instagram if you'd like to see more of what happens behind the scenes.